is tall, 170 pounds. He fights and trains for the Bulls Pen Fight Team. 13 wins, 6 losses, 2 draws is his professional record. He's fought King of the Cage and at the Super Bowl. Please welcome Mark Moray! his opponent in the blue corner. Five feet nine inches tall, a well-trained and ready to go, 170 pounds. He fights and trains out of BJ Penn's MMA from Hilo, Hawaii. Ten wins, three losses, no draws. Welcome to the X1 ring, Ross DeVos. Ladies and gentlemen, our referee for this title match, Mr. Josh Rosenthal, will now give the final instructions. All right, gentlemen, where are the rules? Any last minute questions? All right, fight clean, fight fair, defend yourselves, obey my commands, touch gloves, go back to the corner, let's do this. For the welterweight championship, man. I mean, as this is the fight we've been waiting for right here. Heavy hitter Mark Moreno. I mean, I, I would hate to. I, mean, I hate to bring now. Like, I mean, you know who? It's two local boys. Not only fighting for the welterweight champion, but just bragging rights to be the best in the island. This is right here, a fight on paper. Probably the best fight on the card. Mark has knockout power in both hands. Ross is. Power puncher as well, but he's also brawn and powder. Very, very good at the takedown. Let's see if he stands with him or sets him up for the takedown. I mean, a little kick by Mark. We got the big island up against uh, the island of Oahu. I mean, these guys trying to feed each other out. Mark, very, very seasoned standout boxer, kickboxer. Well, it does look like he's setting up the takedown. A good strategy by Ross the Boss. Much anybody who wants to stand up and mark is probably doing a very, very bad idea. Mm -hmm. Of course, his foundation being boxing. Kickboxing, also has good kicks. And his ground is getting a lot better, you know. He's been kind of seizing himself over these past few years. Nice kick. Good ball by Mark. He's tying it up. He's a pummel drill right here. Nice 
by Mark Lima. Set and track is over and over. Unbelievable coming in. See if Rossi guys suck him in here. Oh. You can almost hear the crowd not really sure who you want to root for. He's got body lock. He's trying to pull him in. Suck in the hips. Almost got him down. Good job, A. Marker. Keep his balance there. Looking to inside sweep. More gentlemen. That's recently fought Carlos Condor who made it to the finals, the final four in the Rumble in the Rock. Under 70 pound, 175 pound actually, mega tournament. And it's the knees. Good job by Mark keeping the fight standing. Let's keep the fight is standing as long as possible. Nice trip down. Ross gets to the position. That's where he wants to be. He's a great ground and pounder here. Mark wants to keep him tight. See if he can either stand up or look for a scramble. Ross the boss on the top. This is X1 for the welterweight championship. Two local boys fighting it out somewhere. Hawaii's, you could say Hawaii's top guys right now in the ring. Good job. Just trying to scramble and getting ready to get up if possible. Throwing some shoulders. Ross doesn't want to be too anxious. Looks like Mark trying to set up an arm bar too. Nice yeah. turn of events. I know he's been working of course on his jacket. I'm going to show his submissions. Stay out of the He's advancing. Ross is trying to post up, get some power. Okay, good job at controlling those hands when um, Ross gets up. Not allowing him in tight. Not allowing him to get work, off. Work. It's like almost an opportunity to stand up right here. He's doing such a good job of negating. Ross is sliding down. He's sliding down right there. Down, guys. Let's want to change his stride instead of staying in the guard, maybe passing because Mark is opening his legs. Kind of aggressive advance, with that guard. Advance, advance. Stay active, guys. Stay active. Keep working. Keep working. Crowd calling for a but they are working. They're working on the bottom. Also, uh, Mark got in a whole team. It could be a whole thing, guys. Stand them up. Good job by Mark. He's going to take six. He's straight down. Taking those punches. Mark actually is not taking that much damage so far. This is where, where the conditioning, of course, comes in. These guys, I mean, moving a lot. Here comes a pass. Nice. Nice little scramble pass by Ross the Boss. Good underhook there by Mark Morano. See if he can sneak up the back. He's kind of tied up next to those ropes. Can he drop some elbows in there? Good job. It Right. Right. Not bad of a first round. Good job by Mark. Staying defensive, minimizing damage. Makes it to another round. When they stand up, he has another opportunity to land some bombs. Of course, great to see Mark Leno. You know he's working on his uh, ground skills. We got the big island of Hawaii taking on uh, the island of Oahu. Two local boys right here at X1 Judgment Day. Let's take it to the replay, Mike. Nice little leg kick there by Ross the Boss. And a tilt. Kind of take down. Mark on Mark. Does a good job keeping his legs up at the hip, creating some space. Try to tie up those hands. Ross did come in with some blows. And um, you can see right there, Mark also fired back from the bottom. Big body shot there, but better body than head for Mark at least. You got to get up. Mark doing a great job in uh, taking away the power when it comes down. Tying him up. We're heading into the second round. We've got Mark Moreno taking on Ross the Boss Ibanez. Mark coming out kind of aggressive. Two strikers with power. 
Oh, he looks like a knockout. Oh, right hand that kind of blocks. Mark Marino right there. It's, uh, Comes right back. Nice leg kick. Unbelievable strikers by the way of Ross the Boss and Mark Marino. These guys are going at it. A little flick kick followed up with that right hand. I can throw some short hooks, but he landed so much power. Oh, nice. big very, very good off of that right kick, right hook combination. He's so quick. Defend that kick. Oh, oh we tried to fire back. Mark Marino. 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 Mark Uh, starting it off kind of a little bit dominant in the second round. Good city. But he lost the back pedal a little. He's making a fan do with the punches, so he knows they're counting. Marks in a lot of good leads. Doing a great job keeping Ross the boss at bay. Oh, 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 oh. Hands him down. That was a trick for a little bit. Mark tells him to get back up. Get up. This is this is, right this is excellent judgment. If these guys want to strike. These guys want to go toe to toe. These guys. Oh, nice big hand. Nick. And he follows up with the right hand. Lands on the, the tempo. Lost the ball. Lost his stun. Mark's facing blood right here. He was three minutes ago. All the time left. Stun. Ross comes in. Oh, he wants to cloud him right here. Don't stand the outside. Looks like Mark's winning the outside. Yeah. These guys are fighting for the welterweight championship. Ross the boss, Steven is Mark Marino. Big, big knee by Mark. Mark taking control of his second round so far. Stunning nice knees right there. Mark's doing a great job being aggressive, landing some good shots. You know, we talked earlier really about we talked really about some of the fighters that out of their ordinary. And now I'm I'm saying this is the opposite of Martin Leonard, like the aggressor, I mean, taking control. This is the fight Mark wants to the fight right here. Nice Mark wants to the rope with the right hand. Good job it's pushing him off. His kicks just landing. So quick at that right kick, right punch combination now. Um, I'm not sure if Ross is going to pick that up with the follow up. So calm. There we go. Are you right at again? I'm not sure if Ross can pick it up, but right out of the Mark wants to clinch it and also kind of spin out. See if he can make some space. He's been damaging in the outside. Looks like he's uh, staying to his fight plan, just wanted to keep it up and up. These guys want it bad, the welterweight championship for Extreme Wars. Who's going to take home the belts for Judgment Day? One minute to go. One minute to go. You see Mark taking out that mouthpiece, so you know he's gas as well. A lot of energy. A lot of, a lot of high kicks, takes a lot of gas out of yeah? Exchange, a lot of pummeling. And so draining. And these are non-stop. These guys are not, these guys are fighting. This is... Protect yourself at all times. <laughs> 30 seconds, we're going to get some tape back on the boss's uh, gloves. And bring them back out. These guys are striking. Mixed martial arts right here, X1. Some of the best in paradise right here. These guys, two of boys, two boys top fighters. Damaging leg kick right there by Mark Morano. It's like each fighter had their round of choice. You know, Ross came out, ground and fought him the first round. 
probably one decision depending how the judges see the amount of damage. Mark executing nice. excellent game plan in the second round, keeping it standing, landing some good blows. And that's the last few seconds, I believe. And there you have it. These guys are working hard. This is Mixed Martial Arts. Next one, man. It can't get any better than this. We've got two of boys, top fighters. See, for the welterweight championship. This is around the champions right here. We come back. Huge range of leg kicks. They come coming through. Ross gets it nice and deep. Mark does a good job at defending that, but pays for it with a good right hand as well. There's that right leg, right hook. It was more of a bang right there, kind of banged him back, lost his footing. And of course, uh, right after that, you didn't see it, but letting him back up. He's kind of measuring himself. Great round for Mark Moreno. That's it, it's like a bang, he kind of clinched. It was like um, Ross was trying to go for something here, and kind of Mark just kind of bumped him at the right time. That little underhook there, kind of knocked on balance, maybe a little shoulder shrug. So in the eye socket. If you were judging, Jenna, how would you see it so far? I'd say Mark Moreno, you know, second round. Mm -hmm. I give the first round to Ross the boss. Okay. So this is right this here. Is this it. is the championship round. If I could go either way. The welterweight championship. Two local boys. One out of the Big Island of Hawaii. One out of the island of Oahu. Bragging rights for Hawaii's top welterweight in the X1 Judgment Day. Got to say that Mark Moreno has an advantage going in because he has momentum coming in from that second round of damaging Ross. And uh, wondering if Ross is going to pick up on the right, uh, the kick and the right, the right, yeah, right kick, right punch combo. But Mark is so fast with that; he doesn't even let his leg land, and that punch is following up. So you take a, you know, you take a chance of blocking that leg kick, but he comes over. He's, he's a little more accurate right. that punch. Yeah, so much power. Ross Corner wants him to push the fight and be aggressive. Ross probably looking for that opportunity to get a double leg. Nice leg kick by Moreno. Some good ones. These guys are going the distance. This is what they train for. This is what they train for. Always ready to fire those hands back. So great at distancing, standing up, being able to slip a punch but stay in there. So Mark does a good job of coming back in. Trying to bring his hips towards him, see if he can take him down. Try to elevate that hand. Oh, higher, higher, higher. Suck him in now. That double leg, sucking those hips in. Ross needs to pull him in. Get a little bit high. Oh, brother! Oh, you know, that's what you gotta do, I guess. Some nice takedown. Sometimes, you know, if the ref's not looking, you gotta do it. We'll take him uh, to center. Come on. Actually, if you get caught, that's center target. Nobody else in the arena matters. It's the ref. Let's see if Ross can make full advantage of this position right here. This is where he has to win the fight. Excellent positioning, a lot of time left. Nice pass right here. This is it. I mean, this is these guys working hard. So you call it a shrug. Call it a even. This is this. Is, this is the For the welterweight championship, X1. Good job, Emma. Recovery guard. Kind of a lost opportunity, at Ross. So that's a lot more damage from the cross right there. It's a nice little stinging. Left hook and left elbow. He's been very, very good at keeping the guard. He's been able to create some space. Excellent. Two minutes to go. He now stays on top here. He may get the fight just in a dominant position. This is where the judge can play player. The judge sees it a little different. He's going to cause a little damage. You know, it's positional control. The position control doesn't necessarily mean he will win the fight. He's not going to take off. He's not really damaging the players at all. He landed some punches. He's actually damaging the losses of punches. Here we go. 
Looks like that's coming out of the bottom. Looks like he's got a second win. His second win after being on the bottom, a takedown. And he's up. He's Mouthpiece tight in the mouth. Looks like he's got a second win. Every damn it, somebody. You can kind of see him kind of get replenished off yeah. of that adrenaline. Even the blocking punch just kind of cuts right through. And of course, with the game, how many else gloves are they using? Yeah, I mean, the gloves are protect, protects your hand, basically. So guys like Mark can throw as hard as he want. It helps him not break the hand. So he does. Feel it on the opposite side of your hand. Oh, huge right hand. Right in the temple. It's almost, almost amazing to see Ross, the boss, a little bit uh, hesitant. He is the fight. The pressure. Nice left hook. Nice kick. Nice right hand. Nice right hand. Nice right hand. Nice right hand. This is going to be his fight. Maybe slip away from Ross, the boss. Not damaging some damaging blows here. Might want to use the right hand to take it back to the ground again. He should. He's got to make the most of it. Not only hit the ground, but also throw some damaging blows once he gets to the ground. You said, I mean, you can be on the top position, but not necessarily. We talked about this with the judges, that takedowns not necessarily means you're going to win the round. It's an avenue, you know. Mm. So ability to take down, you got to make the takedown work for you and cause some damaging blows to win the fight from the judges. Wow. Great job by both Mr. fighters. Lord, 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 we are going to the judges' scorecard. I think this is going to be one of those fights we a great fight let's right go back, back to the replays. Mark avoiding that takedown, getting that arm over there. Ross complaining. Yep. He's trying to pummel in. Ross doing a good job, keeping nice and tight. Finally sucks him in, takes him down to the ground. Great. Does a good job at creating some space at knee and a half guard to stand up. Such Throws that leaping right hook. Here it is again. Trying to take down. Finally gets that. Nice. Small of the back, sucking in the trip. I think this is holy cow. Oh, Mark like you, broke his foot and showed me you, his foot. You got to see the foot of Mark. Unbelievable. You get a shot of the foot of. He got to reset Reynolds. his foot. Oh man! Woo. If you get a shot of right there, I see that. Oh, a Look little at that. elephant leg right there. That's my friends. Mixed martial arts X one. That is a hard kick that caused that right there. See, now you think a lot of times guys throwing the kicks, kicks are landing, but you don't realize what the person throwing the kick is, oh. is damaging himself also. You catch also. an elbow, you catch a knee. It's going to the judges' uh, welterweight championship. Let's see what they say. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the judges have looked at the scorecards very carefully. And we have a majority decision. The baddest 170 pounder in the islands is Mark Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a hand for Ross the Boss. To God, first of all, and then the Boost Band, baby. I love you guys, bro. We came out of Novo, out of Novo. Let everybody know who we are, you know, head on, boys. And uh, we're sponsored, Dimension One of Sports. 
Down a limousine. We're all grown. And me. And you know what? I'll, I'll select him, Marcelo. Because without him, my ground wouldn't have been that good. Thanks, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give him a big round of applause. A true Hawaiian warrior.